all I want to do is wash your clothes. I don't want to keep you indoors. There's nothing for you to do but keep me making love to you. Man, these guys just aren't afraid to express how they feel. Welcome everybody back to the 3L where it's all about living, learning, and listening. I'm Chad. If you're new here to the channel, welcome. It's so good to have you aboard. Good to see everybody's digital faces here today. Listen, we've got an extra special treat for you today. This is the Righteous Brothers. We're going back. We're taking that time machine back in time again to 1964. Where this duo is going to be singing the song, I Just Want to Make Love to You. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like it already. I don't want you to be no slave. Hear this soul going on right now? Oh, I don't want to see you sad and blue. I, 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 I want to make love to you. Wow, I'm loving this. All I want to do is wash your clothes. <laughs> can't get over all this soul that's going on right now. <laughs> you know, somebody told me in one of my previous videos, these two men, you know, being coined as, or named Blue-Eyed Soul, these men wore it around like a badge, and they were not afraid of any repercussions from that. They were proud of that name that they were given, Blue-Eyed Soul. And, you know, it was back in the time where, you know, there was still some friction going on between, you know, just re recalled that time period that they they just wore it around like a badge of honor and they, they weren't afraid uh, to display themselves that way, to sing that way, and you know what? More power to them. Over here, Bobby, and up here. But I can tell by the way that you yeah, walk that walk. And I can tell, tell by the way that you tell, talk that talk. And I know I can tell, tell by the way that you tell, greet your Make all sorts of bad luck 
I'm wondering if there's anybody in my audience listening in that lived during that time period, experienced uh, the Righteous Brothers in all of their splendor and glory back in the day. Would you let me know in the comments section? I'm, I'm curious how, you know, the, the landscape was back then as far as, you know, how were these brothers received? I know in, in a lot of aspects they weren't received because of their soul sound, but I just want to get maybe your input. Uh, those of you that actually lived during that time period and experienced that with the Righteous Brothers. What was the landscape like? What what was the, you know, the atmosphere like uh, when these guys were in their prime and they were singing in this style? I mean, were they accepted? Were they received? Were they rejected for the most part? Was it 50-50? You know, 40-60? You know, let, let me know your input on this. I, I'd be very curious uh, to, to hear what you have to say on this on this because this is so interesting to me I, I mean I'm listening to these guys but they when I'm looking at their faces and it just doesn't match the way they're singing I mean it's just like a whole lot of soul in those two white brothers a whole lot of soul yeah, I don't want to see you sad Well, folks, uh, there isn't any question in our minds about those lyrics. We know exactly what those two brothers want to do. It's not like some hieroglyphics where we have to decipher the, uh, the language in some cave somewhere. We know the full translation of what's going on right here. And that woman that he was talking to, that they were talking to, <laughs> they know exactly what's going on, believe me. Well, folks, this is just simply amazing. Another hit by the Righteous Brothers. Man, I, I know that they had uh, a major impact uh, in the 60s and 70s. It, it, it's amazing what music does. It, it's amazing how it can um, affect us in our daily lives, in daily aspects of our lives. Just putting on a song, you know, it, it can change the whole course of the day. It can change the whole mood of the day. And I, I love this blue-eyed soul. I'm de there's definitely going to be more on this channel. That's 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 a guarantee. Uh, so thank you once again for this request. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, I'm trying to complete all the requests in a timely manner, but there are so many requests that are coming in, and so just bear with me and continue to be patient with me, but I definitely want to get to them, and uh, this is definitely a good request, so whoever put this in, thank you very much. Uh, definitely going to go on my playlist. So, uh, thank you once again for listening, giving me a little piece of your day today, and just remember, talking isn't always teaching you something. But when you listen, you're always learning. Take care.